Today we are checking in a year on from Sprint 13, just saying well, this is how far we've got, there's some great stuff out there and this is what we're going to be doing for the next year. We're on an amazing journey, an amazing adventure here. I think we're absolutely leading the world in the ambition that we have to turn public services digital. The UK has an opportunity to continue to be world leading. We're showing it's possible to make public services better while saving taxpayers money. Perhaps the holy grail of efficiency. I don't think there could be a better testament than government embracing the web, making it open, making it inclusive, making it transparent, making it available to all people at the best possible quality. Every citizen will be able to register online for the first time. Uh, you click on register to vote, uh, and the first question, where do you live? So I'm now going to demonstrate the visa service. Once the applicant is happy to proceed, they click on apply now and start their application. The customer can go back uh, and edit uh, their, their answers uh, and make changes and proceed through the form at, at their own pace. I want to show you how with a few simple clicks you'll be able to let HMRC know that your company car has uh, changed. This is a clear and simple service which has turned a lot of phone calls and paperwork into a two-minute process. We are going to be demonstrating view driver record. So what you can see here is the details. You can see obviously the name and address and the details of the license as well at the higher level. We're testing this in three prisons at the moment and we intend to test it more broadly throughout the summer. It's unprecedented the amount of work that's going into this. We're putting in place new tools and mechanisms to be able to procure faster. We're just not getting the user services we need from big procurement-led IT contracts. We're doing it in a way that is unique to most governments. It's open, it's agile, and it's iterative. This is going to be the most exciting year for the creation of digital public services that this country's ever known.